In this tutorial, we are going to practice solving a system of linear equations by using substitution. The first equation that we have is y equals 4x minus 8, and the second is y equals 2x plus 10. Notice that both equations are in the y equals mx plus b format. If this is true, all you really have to do to start is take everything on the other side of y or the other side of your equal sign and set those two parts of your equation equal to each other. So we take everything on this side of the equal sign, we're going to set it equal to everything on this side of the equal sign. Now what this does is it gives us one variable, in this case it gives us the x value, and now we can isolate that x value to figure out what it is equal to. So what we want to do first is send this minus 8 to the right hand side of our equal sign, and we can do that by adding 8 on this side and adding 8 to this side. Adding positive 8 to negative 8 gives us 0, and on the left hand side that leaves us with 4 times x, and on the right hand side we have 2x plus 18. Now notice we have an x over here and an x over there. So what we are going to do is we're going to take this x term on the right hand side and send it over to the left. Because this is a positive 2x, we are going to write negative 2x right beneath it and write the same thing on the left hand side. So if we combine 4x and negative 2x, that leaves us with 2x. And we still have an 18 on the right hand side here. Now what we have to do is get rid of this coefficient of a 2, and to do that we just divide it by itself, because anything divided by itself is one whole. So that leaves us with a coefficient of 1, which we don't have to write, and we have to balance our equation by dividing 18 by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we have already figured out that the x value for this system of equations is equal to 9. So to figure out the y value, all we have to do now is take this value of 9, substitute it in for either one of these x's, and solve for the y value. Let's just take this 9 and substitute it in for x for the first equation. So what we're going to do is take y equals 4x minus 8, and substitute in for the x value, the number 9. And now we can solve for the y value. So next we simplify this side of our equation. 4 times 9 is 36. We have to subtract 8 from that, and 36 minus 8 is equal to 28. So we already know that the solution for this system of equations is an x value of 9 and a y value of 28. But just to make sure that we have the two values, we should substitute the x and the y value in for each equation that we started with. So let's start with this equation right here. I'm going to change this x to a 9, and this y I'm going to change to a 28. And then I'm just going to see if this is a true statement. So we want to see if 28 is equal to 4 times 9 minus 8. Well, 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 minus 8 is 28. So we already know that the first equation is true. So let's take a look at the second equation, which is y equals 2x plus 10. So we substitute 28 in for this y value, and we substitute 9 in for this x value, and we want to see if this is a true statement. So we have 28 equals 2 times 9, which is 18, and 18 plus 10 is equal to 28. So we have successfully verified our results. So the solution to this system of equations is an x value of 9 and a y value of 28. Now, what this solution really is, is a set of coordinates. These coordinates tell us where the two lines would intersect if we were to graph those two lines on the coordinate plane. And this is how you solve a system of equations using substitution.